Hello, Xavier here. Welcome back to another episode of the Modded Terraria series. And today, I unfortunately, I am not here with Silver. He's, uh, he's busy, so I'll be doing a video or two by myself until he's able to come back to the series. But today, we are going to be fighting two of the, two bosses, uh, or three bosses. No, I think just two bosses. I think we're going to be fighting the Ancient Avian today. Yes, definitely. That's why I'm right here. And definitely, where is it at? Where is that beauty? Skeletron. Hopefully I'm ready. I'm pretty sure I'm ready, but let's get right into this and actually, um, why did that make a bad noise? I have no idea. Let's, uh, let's do this. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. So I got this new really cool sword. It's called the Windblade. It's really cool. Alright, look at that. Not that hard. Awesome. Okay, so I got the treasure bag. Uh, it does it. Ooh, it's alien cooks. How many does that do, though? Does it just do one? Is that is that what is, what's happening? Uh, the Talon Blade, which is a melee weapon. Interesting. Okay, so it's, it's also material a, a garb. I uh, gives me five armor. Ooh, increase magic and range damage, increase movement speed. That's just five armor. That's crazy. Is that? Oh, it's a. Oh, it's a, okay. Okay. It's it's not what I. Okay, if it, it goes here. Does it go here or does it go? Oh, it's a pants. Okay. <laughs> so it gives me five armor, which is not bad, but not bad. Okay, that but pretty cool. Oh yeah, this thing sucks in enemies. That's why they go faster, uh, which is really cool. I thought that was gonna take longer to be honest, but I did forget to do one single thing. Seeing as I'm, I think me and Dominic are way too overpowered at this point. I'm gonna be doing this. He's gonna see this probably and be like, what? Why? And um, where's the other one? Uh, defiled. There you go. The hard in this just got much worse. So yeah, I think it will be fine if we just stay like, oh my god, why am I lagging? Uh, I think we'll be fine if we stay like this. So I think I'm going to head over to Skeletron, right? And uh, probably set up the arena over there. But Ancient Avian was pretty easy. Then again, I was using the other one. Let's see. Uh... Hive Mind, the Beholder. Hive Mind, I'm pretty sure I can beat as well, but that's that's a corrupt thing. So, well, we do have a corrupt area. I think um, up here we have a corrupt right? somewhere. Well, I, I'm not sure, but I know uh, Silver did tell me there's a planet up there that is corrupt. So that's a good thing if we want to try that out. Uh, let me go back to this right here and uh, let's get everything ready and settled up for Skeletron. That'll be a really cool fight. Um, where is Skeletron is the question. I believe he's on the right. He is on the right, yes. So we do have a lot of stuff we can do with. So let's just actually head over there right now. Um, after I put this stuff away, I'm just going to put it in a random chest for now because just trying to. There you go. Okay, so let's go over to the right, and I'm going to talk to you guys about the uh, actual weapons that I have right here. So I have the Goddess Sword, which is a reference to Zelda, uh, The Legend of Zelda, as you can see. I hold it in, and bam! It does some really cool damage. I rolled it to the Legendary, and God, did that take a while. Then I have the Ataxia. I'm pretty sure you guys saw that last episode. I have this beauty as well. It's, oh, wait. wait let me kill that thing. Uh, yeah, I set up this arena here for uh, those fights. Uh, the Zambat sword. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have, like, no mobility at all, which kind of sucks, but I am pretty tanky, to be honest. Uh, the legendary Zambat sword, as well as our, you already saw the wind blade, which is really cool. It does suck in enemies, which is really cool, as you can see. The enemies started floating, which is really cool. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it sucks in enemies, and then I also made a Sky Fridge uh, pickaxe, which is really good. Uh, it's better than the one I had before. Which is really cool, but uh, I really like this weapon. This should be helpful for Skeletron, um, seeing as he likes to move around a lot. And, you know, I'm melee, so I don't want to get kind of... I, I kind of don't want to get close to him. So whenever I do have to get close to him, um, I'll be doing stuff like this sword here, which is going to be really cool. Does a lot of damage, especially with that blade attack right here. 
Uh, and then the tab talk to you is going to be very helpful as well. And oh my god, I hate this. I hate this part. Come on, get out. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. There you go. See? Anyways, so I do have some really cool um, things on these. Oh my lord. Okay, I have some really cool uh, abilities on these. Uh, right here we have the sanguine strike on most of these. This one has the, what is it called? The uh, pestilence, which uh, it does. Um, was it uh, critical strikes and inflicts wandering plague, which is really cool, as well as slowly lose life and, re and release toxic clouds. Um, so that's really cool. It also does six plus armor penetration, which is amazing, which is really cool. So this should really come in handy for some of those bosses that have some really good defense. But we'll see how it goes because again, I did just put death mode on and I put the other thing on. I forgot what it was, but uh, you guys saw what I did and. This is going to be a lot harder, but I'm pretty sure I can tank all of it as well as heal most of my health while I'm fighting these guys. Um, I did take, I had a shield which increased my health quite a lot, uh, but I did remove it due to the fact that it, you know, didn't allow me to regenerate my life. And the only way to do that is if I had these uh, enhancements on my on my weapons as well as using uh, actual potions and stuff, but. Seeing as that might be a bit too much, I just decided to sell this, the shield and I put something else. I believe I went with yeah, the counter scarf, which would be really cool, which lets me dash. Uh, so that'll be handy if I need to run away from Skeletron if he's got me cornered or something. Uh, hopefully that's not the case. That's where I'm going to set up everything real quick and then we're going to jump right into the fight. And I really can't wait for that battle. It's going to be so awesome. Um, I think I'm I think I'm I'm ready and prepared for. Oh my god! Oh my lord! Oh my. Okay. There you go. Go. There you go. All right. Okay. There we go. Oh my god! I hate the the fact that my I I, I need something with wings because like, good lord! Like this is so hard to full, like my mobility is really bad right now. Like I already mentioned, if I had some wings, it would be so much better. Um, I think mobility is gonna be one of my main factors to get after like. We get to hard mode, uh, so yeah, that's one of the things I'm gonna need for sure. For sure, I know there's some wings I can craft right now, uh, but I need some interesting uh, materials for them. There's two different um, wings that have the same exact name from different mods, but um, I'm, you know, I'm gonna craft the one that I can obviously craft. I think after Skeletron, I should be able to craft one because uh, I think it requires bones. I'm not sure, but all I know is that after Skeletron, we'll be able to get some bones from the dungeon. And I'll be able to craft some better weapons and stuff like that. As well as uh, upgrade before we actually take on the Wall of Flesh. Well, I think uh, what me and Dominic, are, or what, what we're going to do next, uh, Silver and I are going to be um, taking on the Slime Kings. Uh, the, you know, the, those two slimes. Uh, there you go. I thought I had to go over. Uh, I forgot what they're called. Let me see. Where are they at? Slime God, yeah, so definitely gonna take. Oh, an in Infernace. That's already nighttime. I better hurry. Gotta hurry. What the heck? I just saw that. I was like, what? It's already nighttime. Thankfully, I am here in time, which is just perfect because we want to fight Skeletron at night. So let's uh, let's start cleaning this area out. I, yeah. As you can see, I did put um, efficiency on it as well, so. It, it, it does it way quicker now. Uh, I think right here, this is where I'm going to fight Skeletron most of the time. I don't want to have to take everything out and then lose daylight. Uh, daylight is very important. I mean, nighttime is very important for a Skeletron fight. You literally have a time limit. So I made it here on time, which is a good thing. I, that That's 100% a good thing. Uh, so I need to make sure that I have enough... Um, Okay, so I did bring my, I, I did bring it, cool. Uh, I'm going to make a little hole right here for this beauty. Put it in there. Uh, can I make a, yes, I can. Awesome. So I'm going to put one of these right here as well for regeneration. And we're going to start building uh, right there. There we go. Okay, I'm so ready for this fight. I'm actually nervous too, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on the platforming. I think... Uh, I'm just going to go in circles around them, but then again, 
the mode that I just put on, I'm, I know he's much harder to fight in that mode. So 100% sure, gonna really be careful with this guy right here. Um, oh my lord, can you guys leave me alone? I'm trying to put down some of these beautiful things right here that will help me out. Trust me, those things are going to be so helpful in this fight. Uh, alone with Skeletron. But I'm pretty sure I can do it, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, and let's, let's uh, I'm gonna skip to the part where I actually get to the fight. Because I want to make sure that you guys see the fight and not me building this. So I'll be right back, guys. Alright, here we go, guys. Oh my god, I'm so freaking nervous, I'm not gonna lie. This thing is in the- oh my god, you shall die. Okay. Here we go! Oh my god! This thing hits like a truck! Oh my god! Oh my god, I am so lagging right now. Oh my god, I have no mobility! I almost beat him! What? Oh my god. See, look, I have no mobility at all, so I can't even move away from this guy really quick. I need to figure out what kind of wings to get. So let's let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I need to go to wing, right? I'm pretty sure there's a... Yeah, the skyline. So, I, er, see, look, I can make it with bones right after that. That's the thing. But I need mobility, so I think I'm gonna have to get some boots. And this thing is really annoying. How, how the hell do these things keep getting inside of here? So, it looks like I'm gonna have to wait till the next night. But I need to get some accessories that increase my mobility by a long shot. Because I can no longer be in this slow state. And then I can put wandering on this stuff if I need if I need to, but I need to really get some mobility stuff. Alright guys, I have done it. I have finally gotten something that can increase my mobility. I got the lava safety boots. Spiked. I was trying to get warning, but I ran out of money. So spiked it's going to have to be. It does increase my damage, which is going to be alright. Because uh, what's not, what's bad about that, you know? At least I'll be able to do some good damage. Uh, the least amount of damage as I can. Well, the, not the least, but I'll try to do my best with the amount of damage I can deal. But 2% more is going to be even better. Uh, so we're gonna head out over there now, so uh, let's go over there and let's actually fight Skeletron once again in hopes of actually beating him this time. Alright guys, it is now my time. Time to take on Skeletron again. This time I came extra prepared though because I bought some potions with me, all I could buy because again I'm still kind of broken out. Uh, but here we are again. I have Endurance and I have Iron Screen, which is fantastic and he went back down there again oh good lord my friend can you not do that please i think he went because it's in night time so i'm gonna do this because i can just like zoom out of here as soon as i summon that thing out so here we go i'm gonna use this beauty right here and we're gonna oh my lord we're gonna all right there we go oh my god Come on. 
Oh, you teleports! I forgot about that! Oh my god, I still don't have enough mobility to dodge this guy, but... I, I don't know where I'm aiming, but... Oh, can I beat him? I did! Oh my god! I was so close to dying, too. I think I was so close to dying. I got the perfectionist token. While this is in your inventory, your next weapon, tool, forge would be the best possible result. Consumes in progress. While this is in your inventory, your next weapon, tool, reforge would get best possible result. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, that is actually cool. The torn note, the third one, which is going to be really cool to have because we do need that. Uh, and we got the grenade shell. Increased strong knockback. Uh, 200 base damage. I uh, don't know what that is. Uh, I'm, oh, it's ammo. Okay. Uh, we got the Skeletron Trophy in the first try, too, so that's a good thing. Not gonna lie. That's awesome as heck. Uh, that's awesome. I I was, I was really thought I was gonna die. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was like this close to... What is that? A Toy Slime? That's, uh, that's new. I had never seen this thing before. Oh my god, what is attacking me? Oh, this thing. I was like, what is attacking me? Alright, so. That is awesome. Now, I guess we can go down into the dungeon for a while. See what we can get. Uh, if we can survive, that is. Uh, that's that's really how it ends. A uh, toy slime mask. It's a vanity item. Uh, broken toys. Okay. Interesting stuff I found. Uh, more zombies. This is getting really annoying about the zombies. Uh, I guess we'll go down. And we can get some bones for those wings. That's going to be so awesome to get. Finally, we get to get some wings, which are going to be really cool to have. I know Dominic, uh, Silver already has them, um, so that's already pretty cool. Uh, I have no chest whatsoever. I mean, I have no... Okay, I have none of those things that I need for that. Golden keys, there you go. That's what they're called. Let's go down here. I didn't bring any danger sense. See, I wasn't ready to go down here, but why not? Let's go down here for the hell of it. And let's see if we can find anything good that's going to be useful for us. Oh, Lord. Hello. Hello, my friends. I got some bones. Yes. Oh, my Lord. Oh, yes. New enemies. New enemies. There you go. Okay, so, my friend, you are now unbound. Uh, wow. That's awesome. Okay, so I need to put, <laughs> I need to put down some more of these things down. It is insanely. Oh, you're gonna die. I'm so, oh, okay, I guess you're gonna. Wow, they, is that new? That must be new. This is so helpful when it comes to like cleaning out the map and stuff. So, what is that dungeon cube? Dungeon cube. That's interesting. Not gonna lie. That's that's new. Okay, here we go with these things. Oh my god, I hate these things so much. Let's go. There we go. Oh, wow! That is the quickest Nazar I've ever gotten in, in any Terraria playthrough. What is that? Possessed Blazing Rattler. Okay, that is, that's new. Oh, my God. What's in the name? Aqua and we're cold enough to distinguish. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Wow, this is going to be a very interesting run with uh, Silver whenever we get here. Uh... Unless I do this by myself next time. But, so far, so good. I haven't... Oh, my God. I was going to say I haven't died yet. But I don't want to jinx it yet. <laughs> I want to get enough bones for the wings. So, I'm trying to get that real quick. How many bones do I have? I have 18. I'm not sure how much it is. I could search it up. But, I'm actually having a lot of fun going down here. And, oh, my Lord. There's a lot of enemies down here. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely a lot of enemies down here. Look at that. That's awesome. What is that? <laughs> An animated tome. Okay, cool. Um, that's interesting. Oh, oh, gotta kill this thing. You already know I gotta kill it. There's another one of those blazing rattlers. There we go. Oh, my lord. Okay, so they're dropping some interesting stuff. Um, I don't need this. I have a lot of those. Oh, my god. Another one of these things. 
I really hate these things, not gonna lie. These things go through the map, and especially the big big bones, the, those big ones, oh my god. Okay, so, definitely gonna kill you. Uh, I need to use, I'm gonna use my sword. And, bam. Wow, this is not doing a lot of damage, but seeing as we already beat Skeletron, this is gonna be a lot harder as well. Um, so, what did I, did he drop anything? I have Illusionist, taking fatal damage instead of, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll show you. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh, here we go. Possessed angry bones. Whoa, Tober of Forbidden Knowledge. What is this? Oh, that's going to be cool for silver. Oh, oh, oh my god. Leave me alone. Oh my god. I did not see this guy coming up over here. He came up from behind me. Um, killing enemies releases homing spectral skulls. This skull deals the same damage type as the weapon that killed the enemy. So this is an equipable. Okay, so if I equip this, let's equip it real quick. Let's equip it just real quick. Oh, I got it. Awesome. What is this? Ah, yes. This is actually pretty cool. Oh, my God. It's not doing a lot of damage. Ah, okay. That, so that's basically what it does. That's actually really cool. So I'm going to keep that uh, for silver because I'm pretty sure it will be more handy for him. Then again, he's so OP. He doesn't need him. He's so freaking OP. Like right now, this guy can kill anything in one shot. Uh, and that's because of his weapons. What is that? Dark Alchemist. Okay, this is... Looks like I'm going to be needing some new upgrades, guys. Oh, Lord. Okay, so I, I got to see what my next upgrade would be. Uh, the Plague Vial. That's what I was using, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, well, let's, let's at least open one of the... Uh, Golden chest that we saw. Oh my lord. Okay, I need you. Oh, look, I leveled up. That's actually really cool. How much? Oh, actually, you know, I never. I wasn't paying attention to the, the amount of the actual experience they give me. And the cool thing is that there's some corrupt stuff here as well. So open that up. And oh my god, I got a cobalt shield. That is fantastic. First try. And I got a weapon with it from. Oh my lord. Okay. I can't see anything. Okay, what is this weapon? Ancient Shiv. Okay, it's, a it's like a dagger. I'm not a big fan of those, not gonna lie. Um, for good reasons, of course. Uh, cobalt shield is gonna be so helpful. Oh, good lord. There's always some something trying to kill us down here, guys. Not gonna lie. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know this as well, so you guys p play Terraria too. At least I'm guessing you guys play Terraria. I'm not sure if you guys play Terraria. If you don't, you, you gotta play it. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> just get it from me. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, then again, you guys wouldn't go to a modded Terraria, you know, playthrough if you weren't, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, I thought I wasn't gonna get hit. Oh well. Okay, so all, 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 let me kill this thing before I. Oh, what the heck? There's two. This is perfect for grinding levels. Though, I'm not gonna lie. Another Nazar? What is? Wow, these are, I don't know if it's just me, or am I getting freaking lucky, because I remember these things being so hard to find the first time around. Not gonna lie. These things are so hard to find the first time I, I tried getting these. For, for like, you know, for the, uh, what's it called, the, uh, the Ankh shields, that, that, just like, the Nazar was so hard for me to get, I actually had to grind for 30 minutes to get it in my last Terraria playthrough. I, so, uh, I'm, I'm ready to get out of here. Not gonna look. I think, uh, there's so many enemies. I'm just trying to find some time to look at my inventory. Get some extra stuff. Are you going to come in and attack me? There we go. Okay, I am out of here. Wow. Okay, guys. We've, we got a lot of stuff. Which is really cool. Not going to lie. So... Let me, I gotta organize my stuff, like, right now, I'm so full of, uh, my inventory is full right now. That is insane. Okay, so I know I got the two Nazars, which is really handy. Uh, you got the Aqua Embers, which is a mob drop, so I'm gonna put that in mob drops as well. Uh, mob drop, and the Eye of Illusionist, which is really cool. Uh, instead of teleporting back home, this effect does not work if the boss is nearby. Uh, 10 minute cooldown, uh, ooh, that's actually really cool, uh, it's an equipable. I can't speak. Equipable. 
Uh, ancient Shiv. I would sell this, but I'm going to see what I, I can actually make with it. But now we have the Torrent 2, Torrent 3, and Torrent 3, which is going to be even better. Let me level up as well. My attack must go up. Yes, definitely apply, and bam, I'm stronger now. Um, so let's see. Uh, token, I got a token, which is really cool. Broken Toys, which is interesting. Not going to lie. Um, so let's put that the toys in here. Uh, you are a terrible person. Material comfortable. So it's a material for something. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna randomly dump some stuff in here right now. Uh, let me get this stuff. Now that I'm here, I can organize this stuff real quick. Uh, and uh, before I do anything else, you know, some fire living fire blocks, which is interesting. I, I don't know how to get those in regular Terraria. I'm pretty sure you guys do know how to get it in regular Terraria. Um, so I'm not gonna really. Okay, nothing good. As always, Scarlet Trans doesn't really give you anything that's good. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Oh, wait, before I leave, let's craft those beautiful wings that I was talking about. So, let's, let's go do that. Uh, right here, they're called the, uh, where the heck are they? The Skyline ones. So, I got the five falling stars and five feathers. Do I have, please tell me I have stars. If not, I'm going to have to do that some other time. Oh, <laughs> Oh no! I don't have stars, guys. No, alright. Looks like I'm gonna have to do that offhand. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Of, whoa, why are you like looking at me like that? Do you have more stuff to shop? I mean, to sell? You do. Okay, throwable book. <laughs> uh, what do you have now? Oh right, we can su uh, summon Skeletron now. Right? Am I correct or am I wrong? Uh, no. Is it? Is it? Is it? No, I don't think I can summon Skilichon. I don't know why you were doing that. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching today's episode of the Terraria Modded Adventure. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, Silver was unable to join us this time. And he will also not be able to join us next time. Uh, or may or may not. But we'll see. I, I'm hoping he can, which is going to be... A really cool thing. It looks like the operator is coming in next. But yeah. Leave a like. Share. De definitely share guys. The more people we get the better. We get to grow our community here in uh, this channel. And I'd love to have more people to watch my videos. So make sure to share and do like and subscribe if you already haven't. Uh, make sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified when I update the next Terraria video. Or any other video. I am doing very other series. Series season. Uh, so please make sure to check them out. Thank you guys for watching again, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya!